So for the states that don't have their own wetland permitting program, I assume then that um, most of the regulation of the wetlands in those states would be through the federal program and the state's role then would be through either the 401 certification mm -hmm. or uh, programmatic general permits and um, is there any, again I guess with 50 different states, there's probably a wide variety in uh, the approaches that states have taken uh, on the 401 certifications and mm -hmm. the programmatic general permits. I mean, is, is there any uh, uniformity there or anything that uh, is sort of a trend that you could say comes up with states in, in those areas? So right, that's a great question. So the 401 certification program requires the state to certify under Section 401 of the Clean Water Act that the uh, dredge and fill permit, the 404 permit being issued by the Army Corps, is not going to violate a state water quality standard. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, states can, through the 401 process, either kind of rubber stamp the action of the Corps and just say, looks good to us, and it moves forward. Other states really maximize the 401 certification opportunity. It really is an opportunity for the state to look at the activity that the core is going to authorize and put some additional conditions on it. Um, it could be mitigation conditions. It could be monitoring conditions. It could be um, um, a variety of, of requirements, reporting. Um, we see a uh, sort of inconsistent follow-through on the effectiveness of those conditions. So some states will put the conditions on and then the permit goes forward and there's not necessarily a follow-up to find out if the conditions are actually being followed. Uh, it's a resource limitation. Right. Other states, a good example is uh, North Carolina. North Carolina actually puts state enforcement personnel, a few, um, on following up on 401 certification conditions to see that they're actually being followed by the permit recipient. Um, so a little bit more robust. Um, what, I, what I hear from professionals in the field is that occasionally a state will use 401 certification as an opportunity to actually deny the, the core permit and say that there's a real problem here, but that's pretty rare. Most of the time it's going to be adding these additional conditions and then the question really is, is are, are the conditions effective? 